Um, so we want to pick a side. Usually, guys, you know, you can see, I mean, we have left side and right side. Usually you want to see the one that you can apply some operations or identities. Um, Keith, it's pretty obvious as I'm looking over here that I can apply some multiplication, right? Not two, just once. Um, so I can apply application. So I'm going to choose the left side as far as applying my multiplication. So I'm just going to multiply my terms. Sine of x times cosine of x plus sine of x times cosine of x tangent of x. Doesn't look like the right side, though, though does it yet, right? You guys agree? Don't look the same. Now, I don't really see anything that I can simplify. I applied my operations, but now I want to use my kind of identities. So the best identities in this case would be my reciprocal and quotient identities. Basically, I'm going to want to rewrite everything in terms of sines and cosines. Um, to, that will help me uh, go out. So rather than saying cotangent is 1 over tangent or cosine is 1 over cosecant, you want to group them together. I think I said that, yeah. So when you're using your identities, group your identities together. You want to have your identity, you want to have your functions where they can be divided out, right? Because we're trying to simplify. So we just don't want to use random identities. We want to get group our identities together. And the best grouping, if you're unsure, the best grouping is sines and cosines. So I'm just going to rewrite everything in terms of sines and cosines. And when doing that, sines divide out, cosines divide out, and I'm left with cosine of x plus sine squared of x. And you can see that's equal to the right side. Cool? So again, all we're doing this class period is the exact same as what you guys did last class period. But we're just practicing applying some operations.